my name is Carl Magnus. I'm a project manager here at the Rolls Bowl, and uh, my work has been to manage uh, the bowl and concourse work last year as well as this year. Uh, to give you an overview of this year's work, uh, the scope of work entailed uh, widening of four tunnels at the north end of the bowl. That's tunnels 10, 11, 12, and 13. The detail of that is, is quite intricate, and the process was really very interesting and very cool to watch take place. Also, part of that scope of work in the bowl area is to build a new field wall at the north end, the radius, as you see down there at the field, behind the goalpost, much like we did last year at the south end of the stadium. Another scope of work this year we accomplished was completing the utility loop, which last year we installed the utility loop, putting the, the underground duct banks, just the conduits only. This year, we actually installed all the conduit wire through those duct banks. For 2012, there's a lot of items that have been brought online as part of our Milestone 2. Items that make up that are uh, 26 new additional suites, uh, 250 additional club level seats, uh, a new media area, and also the game day operations, which is our level G and really the central hub for operating the facility. You know, I have to say, uh, personally, as I watch the, the pavilion being built at every stage, it's, I, I, I'm so fascinated by construction, so for me, every phase of, of construction was just a sight to behold. I mean, to walk out and see the excavation, to see the shoring and excavation occur on, on the site of a berm. I mean, how do you do that? How do you build a platform that high and get a drill rig up there and, and drill caissons that big? How do you do that? I mean, that's just fascinating to me. And then to watch the concrete go up, to watch them strip the board forms and the intent of the pavilion, the exterior, it's all concrete or stone, but the concrete is exposed and it's board formed and it's supposed to look like what they did back in 1922 and you see the, you see the seepage through the board form and that's what you're supposed to see and that's what you see. So for me that was fascinating. Immediately following Rose Bowl last year, we set to work uh, demolishing our press box in its entirety. Um, that meant night shifts, um, it meant working, working everybody, working our steel guys on 12-hour uh, on shifts so we could lift as much steel during the day as possible and then bringing in a separate night crew to demolish the press box in sections. The crane was large enough uh, for capacity that we could do sizable enough areas that we could take it down almost like mobile home pieces. We cut those into large chunks, brought them down to the ground, then we did all of our uh, sorting and, and correlating down in the real soft demolition where we pulled everything apart down on the parking area. So what that allowed us to do is at night we could safely pull the pieces, drop them down to the ground. During the day we could correlate and pull all the pieces for recyclability purposes and get everything off the site all while allowing the rest of the uh, structure, concrete, steel to keep occurring during the center. So it was very critical to keep those items going so we could get the demolition out of the way as quickly as possible. My name is Vincent Gonzalez. I am a construction manager for Bernard Spartan Mallow. Uh, on this project, I was responsible for the steel construction. A few of the challenges that we had um, with the steel uh, regarding the press box was the fact that the existing core remained. Um, we tied in the north and south wings and basically integrated the existing core by um, removing and demolishing uh, braces, uh, removing moment connections, and tying in the system with the seismic load restraint system uh, by reinforcing drag connections. Uh, those areas were hard to get to originally we found that there were alignment issues um, that ultimately um, need, needed to be rectified in order to uh, install the planned steel. One of my major roles this year was managing the coating and the bench removal on the north end of the bowl concourse. Coating on the bleachers had to be tested and removed the, the damaged areas, so we tested it by banging on it to listen for loose areas. So they removed all those areas and then put an overlay on the entire north end of the bowl for, uh, for waterproofing purposes. We also added intermediate aisles to aid in the exiting from the upper bowl down to the concourse level. 
and those included handrails and a, and a uh, intermediate step. So we actually cut the, cut the uh, sections in half. So it makes it so you don't have to shuttle shifts so far in between to get to your seat. You, you only have half as far to go. Makes it a, a lot nicer for the fan. So again, this year we have, uh, we never stop having events. Um, we try to have the major events as, as close to football season as possible because we're just the furthest along. Um, in fact, if we can get anything that's after our first milestone, that's better because we don't have to work night shifts um, in order to keep our schedule. So, but this year we did have the youth care um, circus. We have it, it's an event we have every year. Um, we had the 4th of July American Fest pretty successfully this year. We were more worried because we actually had a new pavilion in place with new roofing, so we were concerned about our roofing material catching on fire. But we just had um, uh, we had fire watch in place up on the roof intact, and um, we just kept an eye on everything. Took pictures, had everybody watching the roof, looking for embers. Um, we had uh, football season as usual, just with it without a hitch. Well, we've been season ticket holders for about 25 years. It looks great, and the renditions that we've seen look fantastic. Well, one thing with the improvements on the press, uh, with the premium seating, they've extended out uh, the premium seating and like the press box area, so they and then they've raised it up. So it's been nice because we're we're on the press box, starting to get a lot more shade. So before we'd be burning and, and, and sweating out there, it's nice to have the shade like around 2:30. So yeah, that's one cool thing. We're really getting to the to the tail end of it. We've just completed another successful football season. We're getting ready now, ramping up for the Rose Bowl game. And uh, we did not have too many issues, I have to say. Um, we completed another great year.